What's up everybody? Today we're not talking about burpees, reps, muscle ups, nah, none of that. You see, our friend, our dear friend, Simon Trageza, posted out a video where he suggested we should talk about books and what we're reading at the moment. So I saw Eric McCarty, shout out to Eric, put out his video and I was nominated to also upload a video with suggestions on what to read. So I do have two books waiting to be read. I'm finishing one by Slavo Žižek, Surplus Enjoyment. But I had to choose one of the two books I'm about to read because one of them, I think it's too much of a niche topic. So I can't suggest it. I wouldn't do it because it's about Adorno and jazz and musical theory as a means for social critique. And um, I think that's a, a topic that can't relate to everybody. But I am waiting to read a novel for the second time, actually. The first time I read it was probably 20 years ago, and it's by Michel Ulbeck, and it's called Elementary Particles. I think in English it got translated as atomized. So I read it in Spanish at first and I was blown away. So it turns out a couple of days ago, I was walking down the street and sometimes neighbors put out boxes with stuff they want to get rid of. And within that box, I found a book in German. So I probably have all of his novels, Michel Lulbeck, a very recommendable author. He's very dark in nature, dystopic with visions of the future that um, combine a critique of technology, of society, um, of values, religion. Uh, he talks a lot about sexuality and elementary particles or atomized is a fascinating novel about two half brothers that are uh, very unlike each other and they're alienated from each other and from themselves. So one is a molecular biologist, if I'm not wrong. And, you know, he basically represents traditional values, traditional goals, having a family. And he's very much like a um, introverted monk that doesn't live his sexuality, whereas the brother He's a swinger, he likes to club, and they are very different. And within the context that this story is put in, it also creates a social critique um, about isolation, atomization of certain groups within society, the superficiality of relationships. Um, it has a very dark undertone. I do like this type of narrative, this type of literature. Like I said, Michel Ulbeck, extremely recommendable. And Simon and I, we met this year in Karlsruhe, south of Germany. And when we were there, I suggested to him a book by Nietzsche called Also Sprach Zarathustra, which is And Thus Spoke Zarathustra. And uh, I hope he's finishing that book. He told me he's having a little bit of trouble with it, which I can absolutely understand. But it is also Nietzsche's most accessible work. And to build upon that reading, I suggested to him he should read Patrick Suskind, The Perfume. Uh, this was made into a film, but it was a rubbish, garbage, aesthetically worthless film because the novel is all about smells and this obsessiveness that is very pathological of the figure. And it relates to, to Zarathustra because he's up in the mountains and comes back down with a certain sense of enlightenment, which is quite nihilistic at the same time. And we'll keep it at that. But these books, the three of them, I know Simon wanted one suggestion, but I'm throwing out three suggestions for all of our viewers. So, Michel Ulbeck, 
atomized or elementary particles. I'm not sure what the title is in English. I'll put it down below. Um, and thus spoke Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche and Patrick Suskind, The Perfume. I hope you enjoy this, uh, these novels and I hope to hear from uh, others about their books. I'm really not sure if I should, should suggest someone, uh, but if I do think of someone, I'll put them down in the commentary below. And until next time, keep repping, keep grinding, keep reading, keep enlightening yourself and be critical and peace out.